Welcome to Adobe Illustrator. This is the uh, this is by far the best software when it comes to creating logos. It's hands down the best. I can't argue about this one. This is the best. It is the best of all softwares. So this is just like Photoshop is. It's, these are previous projects. Create a new file new open the top here is where your settings are so let's say we are creating a new a new file for instance on the left hand here is where your tools are this is your selection tool and this is where you used to select this is to direct selection this is the pen tool. The pen tool is what you use to, to do pen stuff. So this is the pen tool. If you press your control, on, on Mac it's command, but on Windows it's control. You can pick this undo and correct this. And then continue using the pen tool. It might seem complex, maybe in the beginning. But control is to pick your undo. And then let's say you want to break this angle apart, you use Alt. Alt to break it apart. Can you notice what happened there? Let me undo it. Control will pick up the angle and move the angle around. But Alt will break the angle. So it's no longer smooth, it's cusped. Let, let me undo this. So let's say I want to create something like this, for instance. I hold my control. Then I continue. What it is? I actually don't really have a big thing in mind to draw. Let's, let's say this is too much, for instance. I can reduce it. Use my alt. Let's say I want to break this apart. Practice makes perfect. But that's that's just the basics of the pen tool. Let's say you've already drawn your pen, for instance, now and this is it. And you want to direct selection, you want to edit this thing. This is the tool you use. Direct selection, this one here, this arrow here. So you can use something to come back to edit a pen. This is your rectangle tool. This is to draw rectangles, as you can see. You can change the settings here on properties. You can change the fill to black. You can remove the stroke. Click on the stroke. And remove the stroke. You can change the opacity here. You can also change the blending mode, but this doesn't work until when there are layers on, on top of each other. This is a very, very amazing feature of the entire Adobe suit. It's in Photoshop also. You can also change this from rectangle to ellipse, polygon, star, or line. This is ellipse, normal, circle. The same way you change settings. This is your Paint brush tool. You don't really be needing this for logo, so we won't talk about it. This is your type tool. Use this to type text. So as you can see, while I'm trying to increase increase this text, it is distorting. I need to hold my shift. So when I hold my shift, it doesn't distort. So you hold the shift and it doesn't distort. If I release the shift, it distorts. So I have to hold shift. This is text. I can change the character of the text. On your illustrators, some of these things might not be appearing, perhaps based on the way yours is arranged. 
you need to come to window to bring out anything that you feel is missing so, so character is under properties this is layers this is properties so you can change the font under characters here you can change the size it you can change the size here this is the line height so let's say it is on two lines for instance and then Control enter will enter the text like collapse the text and it's no longer typing while you need to duplicate the text to edit the text and when you are done editing you command enter or control enter this is the line height you can increase or reduce the line height can you see it well this is the character spacing And increase or reduce the character spacing. Paragraph center, left, right, the normal paragraph. Palava. Let's go back to the left. So that's the basics. It's just to change the colors. This is to rotate the, the page. Eraser, shape builder. You, you, you might not be needing so much of all these tools, but gradually, while you are getting used to the software, you will learn more about it. This is Adboard. You will be needing Adboard because you will be designing different, different options. So you will be needing to showcase each logo on different artboard. The top panel here is where all your settings are just like every other application file file is where you open a new file create a new file you save your file you export this is export here this is for exporting your file you can use different ways to save your file but i use this when it's multiple screens export for screens edit is to edit copy and paste object is to interact with your object basically your type is for your text Settings that has to do with text. Selection, effect, view. The window is all of this thing on the right hand side here. This is everything here. Yeah, all in your window. Your window is basically what the window looks like. This is the window. This page like this is the window. So if you are creating a new file, just hit command N then you type your size of everything and you create 